Um, I am Danielle Tyndall. I work for the Garland Police Department and I have been a forensic investigator for a little over a year now. So some myths that we see on TV a lot are all forensic scientists work in labs. That is not true at all. Um, some of us work in the field, we collect evidence at a scene, we process on the scene, we do all different stuff actually on the scene and in the office. Um, another myth is crime scenes can be solved within 30 minutes or less. That is also very not true. There are times that we are on scenes for hours upon hours. When it comes to results for DNA, sometimes it takes 60 days, sometimes it takes more than that, just depending on what it is that we're processing. So another myth is humans are the only animals with prints. This one I actually did not know, but um, chimpanzees and koalas have fingerprints, similar to human. One that I see a lot is um, technology where you can just take a picture of a fingerprint and it automatically tells you like, oh, this is who the suspect is. I wish that was a thing, that would be so nice, but we aren't that advanced quite yet. The last one is DNA is the only thing you can learn from blood spatter, and blood spatter is actually something that I want to do in the future. We'll see, we'll see. Um, but blood spatter can provide many more details than just DNA. It can tell you the type of weapon used, the location where the objects were, and the time of date of the crime, and movements of the victim during the attack. So with blood spatter, you can kind of tell if they were shot here and they were moved because of the blood spatter. So if there's more blood spatter in one area, you know that they were closer to where that area of spatter is. And I had an internship beforehand, before I came here, and that's how I kind of realized I was nervous at first. I was like, oh, maybe this isn't for me, maybe this isn't something that I'm gonna enjoy doing or that I'm gonna be able to handle, but turns out I am, and I'm here.